Greetings everyone. So we're welcome to the solution to GC 2022 intermediate level. This is paper two and I'll be explaining to you the solutions I made. So question one was an invoice and we were asked to present an invoice which we did and from here we can notice that the supplier is Booba and Co Limited and the customer is Kami Enterprise and we have everything filled. We had all the gross amount calculated because we had the goods, biscuits, salts, rice, and we had their unit prices, quantities, and amounts. And then we had the sum of all that made the gross amount, and we took a rebate of 5% of the gross amount, gave us 150000 The difference gave us a commercial net, and so on, until we got to the net payable. And uh, we, the mode of payment was check. So after that, we were asked to present the credit note, which was still presented by Booba. And this is it. So we presented the credit note with gross amount. This The credit note was presented because there were some goods which were not in good condition, so they had to return them. Thus, we had a credit note. And this is the gross amount, 600000 we had a rebate and every other thing and then they told us that a check was issued with the difference so it means we issued a debit note which was here and then a credit note was later issued and then to get the amount of the check which the customer is supposed to pay we had to take the difference between the net payable of the debit note and the net payable of the credit note and we had it here, yeah, amount of check. We look for the difference, it gave us 2,718,960 francs. And that's the amount that we put in the check, signed duly on that date to the other of that person. So basically, that was it. And then we had to draw the journal entries and we recorded the debit node, the credit node, and then the check sent to the customer sent to the supplier by the customer so that's that for the first question and then the second question we had stock bin card which we presented and this time around we presented the stock bin card using the weighted average crush after its entry so yeah we had that we just simply added and then we added the amounts we add when there's a purchase we add the Quantities and the amount, we divide the amount by the quantity gives us the unit price. And when there is a sale, we use the same unit price. So they ask us to look for two other methods. We should list two other methods of stock valuation, which is we have first in, first out, and last in, first out. Thank you very much, and see you in the next, in the next video. The complete solution can be found on Classgate. Go to class.hislist.com for the complete solution. Don't forget anyone can teach on Classgate. Go to class.hizzles.com and start teaching Cameroonian students today.